before we start, I just ask Ken about what's Donnie Weir. Uh, yeah, we just saw it inside, or we just heard it inside there. Um, yeah, like certainly as a second row forward and seeing like Dottie Weir and you know that uh, living with the Lions '97, it's amazing, isn't it? Like time um, for the game and the professionalism of the game, but seeing the character as well. Uh, but probably more in recent years than you, I've seen Dottie at a couple of Glasgow games um, in recent times, and um, yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Like Jabers, it's. But how he has conducted himself, um, all the funds and work that he's done in recent years. Um, but yeah, our thoughts go out, you know, as a, just like as a great rugby man that he was, um, great character in the game. So uh, our thoughts are with his family, friends, and all his loved ones. You know, it's it's a very very difficult time. Um, yeah, it's uh, enjoy the day, isn't it? Like it's it's tough to it's tough to hear, but he, yeah. I'm uh, sure Simpsons go out to the Glasgow guys as well. I knew he was a big part of it. What would they were doing? Yeah, it's extra poignant that you're playing Glasgow tonight, like really, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, that's the la- again. As I said, like, that was the last time I saw. I literally picture the uh, um, in the stands, um, and you know, obviously with Doddy and Sue, um, they would have had a few different interactions. Obviously, when I've met Doddy then as well. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's tough on them. It's weird to ask about the game after that, but. What were your overall thoughts? You've had a few guys back from injury. You looked like you're pretty injury-free, I think, right at the top of my head. So. Yeah, just Charlie got a bang in the shoulder. He came off at yeah. half-time, but uh, other than that, yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, like it, would, it didn't feel like we won the game 40 points to five. Anyway, that's that's one thing um, for certain. Uh, thought the intense, you know, how guys have trained over the last couple of weeks has been really pleasing. Um, number of young guys in there. Because um, Glasgow has a lot of top-end players there who come back from from Scotland duty so um, all the teams I think are going to be a little bit disjointed you know what are they like to restart it's never going to be the perfect performance on these weeks um, so it's great to get the job done get a bonus point win at home um, and you know some guys are up and running now in terms of game time as well um, so there's plenty of pleasing things in the game you know the intent at the start of the game is good score three early tries uh, which takes the game away from Glasgow so um and they missed a couple of opportunities, you know, that they get their try, but you know, they had one disallowed for that uh, formation of that small. Um and they've they probably had a couple of other chances in there as well. We gave away a lot of penalties, which gave them a lot of access um in that probably middle section of the game, you know, so from twenty five minutes on. Um I thought the bench did gave a decent account of themselves, you know, that we needed a bit of a lift. So when it went twenty one five a uh, number of guys came on, so whatever we were, 48, 49 minutes at that stage. So I thought, you know, particularly the forwards just looked, were lacking a bit of spark, um, which again, when some guys haven't played in a while, you're going to get a certain bit to a certain extent. Um, so yeah, no, I thought they, the lads closed the game, the game pretty well, got a four try at that stage and then a couple of tries later on. So um, overall, now, yeah, listen, we're delighted with the outcome, but we know we need to be a bit better in the future. Good to have Ronan back to use the word and Rob Ross, that would be a memorable night for you. Yeah, it's great. Like Rob's played uh, a fair few minutes for us this season, again from the uh, the Tony Smith uh, Trinity stable, um, which is great. Um, um, yeah, no, so he finished his tries well, which is great to see. So, um, what Hattrick did he score? Hattrick, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I had to get to obviously Charlie got the ball back inside. So, um, yeah, no, f- he's been great, Rob. You know, just needs to keep backing himself now, um, but hopefully get more confidence from games like today. So. Um, yeah, no, really pleased for Rob. So, uh, but a number, a number of other young guys have gone well there as well. So, um, it's just building the experience all the time, um, and the competition we hope will serve us well, which is what the reasonably exciting block of games now coming up, one game down, nine to go. So, um, lots to look forward to. So, hopefully again, big crowd here next week uh, for Ulster, which will be, which will be a good old challenge, I'm sure. Yeah, like when we were giving away penalties, I don't think we really got punished fully. I think is, th- you know, because they missed touch a couple of times, uh, which meant we were sort of counterattacking back on them again. So they they never really built that much pressure on us. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, like we're going to be better. Like in terms of discipline wise, other teams will punish us. Um, you know, you saw Ulster last night. What they four tries from them all. So 
um, very strong part of their game, big part of their DNA at the moment. Um, so yeah, no, there's, you know, we, we need to be a lot better next week. It's a totally different challenge in the pro game. Um, you know, see, I, I know the 2011-12 gang were being paraded there, but back in those days, you used to play two European games before November. Um, and already you had a bit of a gauge as to the way the pools were shaping up, but you know, that's obviously not the case this year. So um, you know, the next few weeks are, are so critical for us. Um, Ulster, who are very close to us in the table, and then you're into Europe where there's not much margin for error. So um, we'll see how everyone pulls through um, ahead of Monday. Sorry, Leo, on the 2011-2012 uh, <coughs> celebrations, you know, Dave Carney played with you. What, what keeps Dave Carney going? Um, I think he just loves it. He, you know, he's missed some periods through injury as well, um, which keeps him. I think has kept him fresh. And as you know, when you miss a period through injury, yeah, like you're rehabbing one body part, whatever that is. Um, but you know, it certainly it gives you a bit of mental freshness for the game and an appreciation for it as well. So, um, but Dave, yeah, he's so popular amongst the lads as well. And, um, he's a great pro, um, and great to see him still trucking on, living the dream. <laughs>